What's up guys, my name is Your Heroes and welcome back to more Men of War 2. I was about to say Gates Fell, but not quite. Now if you notice that my if I'm sitting a wee bit lower than usual, I've just had a wee bit of a family lost uh, today. So if I don't probably sound my best and I do apologise, but it's kind of been a hard day uh, with a wee bit of a personal family loss. So I, I do apologise, but I hope you're still able to enjoy this video. And today we are going to be concentrating on the settings or useful settings that are, are good for beginners but also for veterans in Men of War 2. Now as you know settings can be the most important part of the game as it makes sure your game runs smoothly and effectively as best as possible. So today I'm going to be running through the graphic settings on what I, what I, you know kind of like a guide of what I kind of suggest would be the best graphics for you. I just like to start off with that. Always have it on full screen. 100, 100%. Have this on full screen and it just makes everything better. And by the way, if you do want to see more content like this, you know, useful tips and tricks on this new Men of War 2 game, then subscribe if you're new, like this video. If you can get this video to 10 likes, that'd be absolutely amazing. And thank you again for reaching 2K subscribers. It's been a great birthday present again because my birthday, my birthday's tomorrow so yeah i guess a birthday present for me as well so thank you guys for that very much appreciated you know let's continue so yeah full screen 100 now it's up to you whether you want i would always recommend having the option if you have the option of 1920 by 1080 i would always do it but you can also just use des desktop settings which is basically i think just the recommended one but i would always stick to 1920 by 1080 as it's the most best one you can use for any game now, if the aspect ratio, I think you can't really mess with unless you use unless you use some other sort of uh, uh, resolution, I think. But I'm not quite sure. For those who let me know down below what this means, but I'm not 100% sure. CPU usage. Now, I have this on maximum. This can is very good, but basically it allows you to limit processor and graphics card usage. But this option can be useful for laptops and mini PCs. So, I would recommend putting this on you know medium or low for you know your low-end pcs but maximum for like your high-end pc such as mine you know that has an i think it is a, a you know a for rg force rtx 4060 but for any low end i would always possibly recommend this is as it is useful for again gaming laptops or mini pcs that are maybe not as high-end for this game as this game can be quite a lot even for my computer it sometimes struggles so I would recommend for maybe a medium or a low for your mini PCs, but for your high-end PCs or laptops, then go for maximum. Vert vertical sync, this is up to you. This basically allows you to have your screen to refresh before frame draw. So checking this removes flickering, but also reduces performance. It's up to you. If you click this, it'll, it will basically sync you to 60 FPS or frames per second. And this is kind of like the standard for all games that always put this as an option. It's up to you, but it does reduce game performance. So again, I would maybe click it if, again, if you have your low-end PC, if you don't have graphics card that that's good for a PC, I would click it as this can. It can make the game less laggy and less framey, but again, having that game performance is kind of a good thing when you have a not in such a good end PC. Next one is your anti-analyzing. So full screen analyzing model makes um, edges look smoother and more natural, although the high values may reduce game performance. Again, it, most of it, when you turn it on, it is usually to do with game performance. 90% of the time, if you turn any of these on, you will lose game performance, which is a wee bit of a loss. But if you want your game to run smoother and slightly better, then, then that's good. But you are the default, the drawback is that you are losing a wee bit of game performance, which is not good. Now, if any of knows what the SMAA or the MS, I don't know what this means. I'm really not that much of a geeky, geeky nerd about this kind of stuff. So if any of you know, then let me know in the comments down below. But I have it as none just because it's the preset option that I have. But for any, again, your low end PCs, maybe put a SMAA as again, it just makes everything, just the edges look smoother and it looks more natural but again it's it's up to you i have it on none and it probably still looks a bit more kd i have the texture quality i have on maximum quality because again i have quite a high-end pc i don't have a great i think a processor i think i would like a probably a better processor but 
Um, for me, I have a high quality, but for those who are maybe in your medium to high, maybe have like a 1060, put it at medium or medium, not any high because your high will probably struggle with a 1060 graphics card. But if you're any lower, like again, a laptop, you know, but if you have quite a powerful gaming laptop, go for your maybe high, not maybe maximum quality because I think even that would struck for a, lap, a high laptop, maybe put it as high because the game can be quite intense with gameplay. But for your low end PCs, I can put it or low or um or medium preferably low as this again i know the texture quality does look bad but if you want your game to run smoothly this will be the way to do it next is your shadows i have it in soft self shadowing this basically allows shadow complexity lowering lowering the setting or turning off shadow can improve game performance so sort it can imp some of these settings can improve game performance i have it in soft shell shadowing which basically just has shadows all around the whole game and um, whereas you can put on no shadowing which will probably actually improve your game even better or you can just put it in ground only show a uh, shadow map which basically allows it to put it on ground only so if infantry was like on the ground it would see the reflection on the ground i think if that makes sense Next one is texture filtering. So texture filtering type, a higher setting, texture looks sharper and more detailed from far away, but this can also reduce performance. So I have it on anti sortric 2X. I have no idea what any of this means. Again, I'm not, I'm going to say again, I'm not some geeky nerd that knows all this stuff. Anyone knows, let me know in the comments down below. I have my model quality high, my effects quality high, and my watch performance reflections on dynamic. Again, I do have a really good PC and I'll say it again. For anyone lower, put it on low, put it on maybe medium or low. I don't know why they have a, don't have a medium setting for the model quality, but if you really kind of want, if you really want your PC to run well, put it on medium or low. It's really simple as that and put it as your watch reflection, put it as really no reflections. Again, if you're having like your really shit PCs, but or you could put it as static, which sometimes appear, but not all the time. The rest, you've got the grass effect, you've got power, Paral parallax which is basically enhances the natural look of rough or bumpy surfaces so if it's like if a terrain was kind of had like a hill so you would actually see the hill you know of that terrain whereas if you took it off there kind of be no hill just be kind of like a straight land if that makes sense i've turned them all on and um, your depth of field is basically the distance based on buff on blurring effect and your ssao which your imitates ambient occlusion Again, I'm not smart enough to understand that, but and I'm admitting that, but for any of you, those let me know. But I have them all turned on. For those who maybe don't have the best, I would probably turn off, uh, I would maybe keep grass on, but maybe turn off parallax, as this kind of just allows you to see grass, but also, but also just takes out the bumpiness of the terrain, which probably might help. Your few distance, I have it all the way up to top. It was kind of the preset that I had. You can mess about it as much as you want. For maybe the gamma, basically it's your full screen gamma correction. It's up to you. I'm not changing mine overall. So yeah, I'm keeping it the way it is. I'm not your and your view distance is how far you can see in the game. Reducing this can value can significantly improve performance. So yeah, if you lower it, that means your game performance will get better. But if you put it up, your game performance will get worse. But for me, it doesn't get worse. But it does get slightly worse. It does slightly lag. So for overall conclusion, I would have your full screen turned on, CPU put to medium, put on your vertical sync, put on anti-analyzing for M S M A A. I'm guessing, put it on a low, maybe medium uh, graphic settings, put on none for the shadows, it just makes it, I think it's just not necessarily the shadowing. The textures, filtering, again, I'd maybe put it on bl binary or Bilner. Bilnir, I don't know, I just can't speak today, my head is so fucked, um, or the Trillnir, which is again slightly worse off in your texture filtering, so it makes the texturing you know, less effective on the battle, but again makes your game smoother, I think it is. Um, yeah, your model quality I put on low, your effects quality I put on medium, your dynamic you can put on static or no reflection, keep your grass on it, turn off your parallax, which again is basically enhances the natural look and rough terrain. Turn off your depth, your depth of field, and I would possibly reduce your view distance because that's kind of your depth field basically allows you to see the distance 
based on blurring effect and if you have your distance you know all the way down while having that on it really doesn't make any sense so i would maybe turn that down to get the best performance possible get the gamma at the same if you want but this is my recommended uh you know options for those on the medium to low quality so there you go guys that is it for today i hope you have enjoyed today's video i do apologize again if i do sound a bit down but i still hope you enjoyed today's video and if you like to see more tips and tricks like this on settings or hotkeys which I might do in the next video then let me know in the comments down below but other than that guys thank you so much for watching and our sport and i will see you in the next video and if you want to have a look at my most recent video which included a possibly new conquest campaign in the left hand of your screen right now thank you so much for watching and bye